All right, Brian Schulte here. This is my 2014 gift capstone. I'm here with one of my clients, Silas Lee. Um, he's one of our junior golfers here in the Petoskey area. Um, plays in a lot of junior events around the whole state. Um, I'd say you're probably, what, a five handicap or so? 3.2. 3.2, so he's a pretty solid player. Um, we've been working this summer on a lot of things. Um, he's a skier. So what we found was he had some sub tailor joint issues just with being locked in ski boots all winter. Um, we found some hip dysfunction that he likes to kind of bail out in the transverse plane with his hips. Um, and he actually was suffering from some tendonitis in his right wrist, um, which kind of kept him out of golf for about a month now. Um, so he's just finally getting back into it. Um, but we've worked on the tendonitis. He was seeing a massage therapist. He was going to some physical therapy and now he's back to 100%. So what we're going to do today is we're going to work on his left subtalar joint and his left hip. Um, and I recorded some of the swings to start off this video, but what you probably may notice is that as he's coming through at impact, that left foot tends to get over here so you can see, tends to get over here and he tends to spin out of the left foot, which causes his left hip to get back. And what happens is he tends to kind of just wipe at the ball and it produces a very weak fade. So we've been working on some left leg stability, some uh, acceleration, deceleration drills, and uh, he's made some progress, but because he's taken a, a month off of golf, we gotta get him, get him back into it. So uh, what we've done is for our functional measurement, we decided to pick probably the most functional test we can. And here at Boyne, we have a track man. So what I had him do is hit 10 shots with his driver. Um, I didn't tell him any of his numbers. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna do 10 driver swings. Then we're gonna treat using FMR. Uh, we're gonna do a stability exercise and get him a little more rotation going. And then we're gonna have him hit 10 more drivers and we're gonna look at the numbers. So uh, first, he's already hit his 10 shots. He doesn't know his numbers, I do. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on that left subtalar joint. So let's go ahead and get this. So Silas, uh, we started off the summer doing a lot of subtalar stuff and he's actually made some really good improvements since then. I mean, before I really couldn't get him in eversion, even just manually. And, you know, he did a lot of the most stability from NG360 using the subtalar joint exercises. And you can already tell that he's already made some pretty good progress in that area. No, you're fine. You're fine. Take her out. There we go. All right. So I'm doing a little bit of mid tarsal along with it, getting the calcaneus to evert, inverting the foot. And we're going to work its way into inversion because we know that's where it's going to get at impact. But ultimately, if we can load this left side better for the backswing, it's obviously going to produce a better explode for him to post up on. Feels good.
All right, go ahead and put your shoes on. We're gonna work on the left hip a little bit now. Uh, how's your foot feeling right now? Uh, feels good, actually. It feels kind of, I don't know, like looser, whereas this one feels more kind of planted mm -hmm. than the other one. Like less free, mo free moving, I suppose I can okay. say. Well, it's when we're doing the video, I'm gonna balance you out, obviously. Right. Um, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work a little bit on the left hip. And we've already done some left hip stretches before the video. Um, you did some stuff on the ground, you do some stuff laying down, so that's already really good. But what we're going to do is I'm going to have you get here, and we're going to do some rotational lunges, external rotation, just doing this. And we're going to get nice and warmed up with that, and then once we're getting that motion established, I'm going to put my hands on you. I'm going to drive you a little bit more in the transverse plane, a little more rotation. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive you and translate you down a little bit. So we're going to be getting a rotate, and then kind of a squat. A rotate and then a squat. So let's go ahead and do the movement. Just back to there. Yep. And you can get the foot out a little bit more. Yep. Good. Yep. All right. So get a little bit bigger of a step out so that you get a little more. There you go. Yep. Good. Good. Go ahead and hold your hands out like this. And I want you to kind of rotate with the hands a little bit more too so that we're gonna get a little more of a top down drive into that hip. Good. All right. Good, yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. All right, now what we're gonna do is, when we're doing that, we're gonna do a little bit more of the squat with it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate you, but I'm gonna push you down a little bit as we go. Gotcha. All right? All right. Then rotate, squat down, good. Good. Yeah. Good. Get the arms going a little bit faster, good. 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 All right, go ahead and relax. So now what we're going to do is we've kind of helped, we've helped uh, load the load essentially. <laughs> we've gotten this left hip a little more opened up. So now what we've got to do is load the explode coming through so that your left leg can kind of decelerate and post up for you in your swing. Right, get both parts so now, of the swing. Exactly. So what we're going to do is you're going to get here. Um, we'll probably face this way actually. And you can start a little bit here to kind of load into it. And then you're going to get here, and we're going to first stay just kind of standing up and getting here and getting that internal rotation in that left hip. So start maybe in a little bit of external rotation, a little bit of a squat, so you can kind of explode and come here, here, and kind of explode here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be putting my hands in you and kind of facilitating this. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah. With the arms out? Yeah. All right. So you can start without arms just to kind of get the motion going, and then, yeah. So just a, a little go. baby external rotation, squat, and then explode through. Yep. Yeah. Good. All right. Good. Good. Keeping that left foot down. Excellent. Yep. Yeah. Keep going a little bit with the spine here. Good, a few more. Good. All right, now we're gonna add a little bit more into that where when you get here, I want you to squat a little bit here and come out. Mm. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get here, squat in, come out, to here, squat in, come out, here, squat in, come out. Okay, no squat on the back? Uh, a little bit on the back. A little bit on the back? Okay. Mm -hmm. But for this one, we're a little more concerned with getting here, you can maybe just start a little bit internal rotated. Okay. So get here, squat into it, come out. Here, squat into it, come out. Yep. Okay. Yep. Good. Get a nice squat. Squat down. Yep. So what I'm doing is I'm not only using my hands to facilitate the load, but as he's getting here, I'm kind of translating his pelvis down. You can kind of feel that I'm 
pushing them down. Good, and get the arms, yep. Good. A few more. Yep. Okay, good. Good. All right. So now we've mobilized the joints. We're going to do a little bit of stability. I'm going to throw them through the cervical matrix just real quick. Get a little more rotation out of everything. Get the spine even a little more loosened up. And then we'll have them hit 10 shots and see the product of our actions. So cervical warm up, what you're going to do is you're going to get here. We're going to go bilateral hands. We're going to keep the eyes and the hands glued together. So you're going to be here, rotate, everything stays together. Here, rotate, everything stays together. And of course, we're going to work slow and then go fast. Okay. All right. Good. Good. All right, good. Now we're going to go 90 degrees. 90. So go ahead and get here. Head stops at 90 degrees left. Head stops at 90 degrees to the right. And then you're going to do the same thing. Okay. Should I just do like three on one side and then three on the other? Yeah, do three just to kind of get the motion going. And then once you get the motion going, then pick up the speed and do maybe three more. Okay. Yep. get some speed and you can even get a little bit of that squat and rotation as you're doing it too. So as you're rotating kind of squat down. Yep. Good. All right so now we're going to go R45, L45 getting here and then if you want what you can do is you can get here and then, like we said, as we get here, squat a little bit and then explode out of it. Okay. And then you can get here, squat, explode out of it, here, squat, explode out of it, but still keeping your R45, L45. Okay. Good. Yep. R45, L45. Good. Yep. Slide. Yep. All right. So now let's go neutral, head zero. Same thing, getting here, rotate, squat, come through. You can get here, squat, come through, squat, come through. And you can kind of, you can see I kind of driving the leg forward, right? right? Getting here, there. kind of throw yourself at it, getting that rotation in the hips. Okay. Good, yeah. Good, I like it. Good. Do one more side. Yep. Excellent. Now we got to make it golf like, right? Right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do zero degrees, but instead of looking horizontally, we're going to be looking a little more vertically. So you're kind of going to be in your golf posture like this, looking down as if you had a ball. You're going to get here, do your external rotation, swing the arms up, come down. Here, swing the arms up, come down, up, come down, up, come down. And don't worry about an explode coming through. So just kind of do it like right here no need to really explode a whole lot get in there but now we're making a golf like okay See if it all paid off. So, got dry rear, do you need some peace? 
Uh, sure, a couple. Nice. to describe. I mean, I definitely taking the month off made me feel a little rusty, kind of mm -hmm. just, I'm trying to still get the muscles to kick in and remember what they're all supposed to do. But then after we did the exercises, uh, I did feel like I could move a little bit freer. I could put a little less effort into it and I didn't have to try and control the club quite as much. Right. Especially on the follow through. Yeah, absolutely. So... Alright, so, how do you feel you did between the two swings? Uh, I don't know, I mean, club head speed wise? Sure. Uh, I don't know, probably around an extra mile an hour. Okay. I hope, anyways. <laughs> so, let's see if uh, this will pick up your numbers. I don't know if it will or not. But, so with your 10 free exercise driver swings, average club head speed was 99.2. Okay. Your average total distance was 246.1. Ball speed was 146. Mm, okay. So 99.2, 146, 246. Okay. Your 10 shots after, club head speed jumped 2 miles an hour. Ooh! 102 miles, 101.2 miles an hour. Ball speed jumped up to one, uh, 149. Nice. Same smash factor, so you're still hitting it as efficiently. Okay. Total distance, 250.6. <laughs> Sweet. So we gained four yards off two miles an hour of club head speed. Awesome. With your longest drive out of all of them being 269 on the last one. Sweet. So I'd say it was pretty successful. I was. Absolutely. So, uh, moving forward from here, um, obviously we're going to balance you out yeah. here immediately. <laughs> um, for exercise going here, we're going to continue working on more of the rotational stuff. Um, we know that we still need to work on stabilizing that left side. Um, probably going to be doing some skaters where you get here. Right. And we're jumping side to side. My favorites. Um, yeah, just to make sure that we're, we're loading more on the frontal plane because you have such a great gift of rotating in the transverse plane that you tend to kind of rotate and back out. Let's see if the camera can pick that up. So what Silas tends to do is get here and he kind of rotates away from each plane. So what we need to do is get him a little more comfortable moving in the frontal plane so that he actually kind of rotates into that femur instead of bailing out of it. So um, we're going to do some skaters for that. We're going to do some more exercises in the frontal plane to get you more comfortable with that movement. Um, but beyond that, it's great to see you getting back into golf. It's great to be back, man. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's keep hitting some more of those shots. 